How's it going guys? Welcome back to Cyberpunk episode 56 with me CXC and in this episode we're jumping in and continuing in the exact same position that we left off in the previous episode. So we've got to meet Judy on Cloud's Terrace in the morning or early morning. So I'm guessing that's within the AMs. It's probably like 2 3 AM, maybe even 4. But um, I haven't actually got a time on this so we're going to have to go here and just use the wait option until time passes. There we go, got the wait there. If I can hit the marker again. So I'm thinking of just um, dropping a save just in case. And there we go. So I just skipped the video there. Just did a quick save just in case anything happens. Uh, but if not, we're just going to wait and hope for the best. So sometime later. And here's Judy. Hey, so got to meet Judy on clouds and wait till early morning. We've done that. And now we've just got to talk to Judy. So we're going to talk to her and we're going to see what she's got to say. We're going to listen to her. So I'll be right back, guys. So we're going to go, I'm ready, let's go. Or tell me anything more about her or you nervous. We're going to go with the second option. Okay, so we're going to go for I am here as your hustle. Or I'm ready, let's go. We're going to go with the first option, which is the main option. This drives the story. The other ones are optional. All right, so what's she opening? Uh, follow Judy. Okay, so we're just following Judy. Oh, okay, looks like there's a secret passage or something. Maybe not. You've used this entrance before, or you... Or know how to get around the systems. Like we're going to go with that one. No way you cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around those systems? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as pie. Okay, so now what? Follow me. All right, so where are we going? Uh, I'm not actually sure where we are going. Got the young, yin and yang sign there. To see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yep, but I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mock. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a common thug. Yes, V. I mean yo. Alright, so we're going to go with did what I have to do or left a lasting impression. We're going to go with that. No, we're not. We're going to go with don't mind me. Had to blend in. No, we're not. We're going to go with the first option. Left with info. What happened in between is what happens when people refuse to work with you. Ever heard of a little something called compromise? Try it sometime. Okay, so I'm not actually sure who Malco is. Just what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass money. Another doll? I want money. So we're gonna go, that's all you're good at. Blowing hot air or Judy wants to make you a proposition. We're gonna go Judy with the second option. About clouds. Over the best. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this. Loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the tiger claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. Judy's definitely gonna probably smack her if she carries on. Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Damn, I wouldn't say that to her. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? We're gonna have to back her, aren't we? You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Bad karma, that is. Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? No, why are you floating around? As much as you two and your Stop floating away, and just talk. You don't have to be floating. Moonwalking around the joint. Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. 
Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Heard enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely? Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. You picked the wrong side, well, Maiko. Oh, name's Maiko. Now Malko. Alright, see, so yeah, I'm just gonna walk away. Follow Judy. We weren't really much good there, to be honest. But yeah, we can listen to what she got to say anyway. Might need some time to think, or she's probably scared. I'm gonna go with the first option. See what her response to that is. You might be right. I'll call her tomorrow. Oh, okay. She actually backed us. She actually thought we were right. These characters move so glitchy. The main characters usually aren't that bad. It's usually like the side characters and stuff. But for some reason in this episode, the main characters are moving funny. So where are we following Judy to? She's going up here. And then where? Oh, she together with Evelyn. I didn't actually realise that they were in a relationship. I thought they were just friends. But then it makes more sense, I guess. Then she's feeling it like this. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to pick up this log. New shard. My name's spelled Ozeng. I'm not sure how you use these shards and stuff. I don't think they've actually been active on an update yet. There's so much more that this game could offer, but it doesn't. The brain dances could be so much more. Like you could live through different people's memories and stuff, but they don't let you. There are brain dances, but for some reason they don't let you play them yet. I guess they haven't actually made them. Yeah, you, a deck chair and a mai tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No. Alright guys, so we're just following Judy. We're gonna listen to her. We're not really gonna speak over her. Just gonna see what she's got to say, and then we're gonna end the episode up. So I'm not sure where we're following her to. I'm not sure where she's taking us, but I guess we're gonna find out within time. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end him. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Maiko? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. New episodes every Wednesday at 10. Only on WFNX.
satisfied. Uh, yeah. Punch the ground floor. I need to get out of this place. Mr. Stud. All night. Every day. It so almost hard. felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling? It was so fucking strong. isn't ever really worth it. People want to believe it'll be the miracle pill for their grief. That's not and boom, so I think we've listened to what she's got to say. We've just left the mega building with Judy. And that's going to do it for this episode. We're going to wrap this one up here. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Make sure to join me in six days time for episode 57. Or join me not tomorrow, but the next day for Destiny episode 56. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye. Or a sense of justice wasn't big enough. Michael only works with specifics. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V, and thanks.